UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. The life of a junior faculty member at a major university can be very challenging. There are time constraints, teaching obligations, and many things to manage, including stress. I found it very helpful if I could just stop and collect my thoughts, watch what the mind was doing, uh, and so that's what drew me to, to Buddhist practice and meditation. Joe Tennis is an assistant professor of library and information science at the University of Washington. He was drawn to the San Francisco Zen Center as a place to practice Buddhism. During one of his visits to the Zen Center, Tennis mentioned his background in information organization to one of the teachers. And immediately his eyes lit up. Um, and he's like, oh, we have this problem. <laughs> we have tons of documents and archival material. For the last three summers, Tennis and a handful of graduate students have converged at the center to organize and catalog 50 years worth of material. The first phase of our project was uh, basically taking an inventory of everything that they had. So the cassette tapes, photos, documentary heritage, um, even some uh, of the textiles and art objects that were there we listed so that they knew what they had. Next, they prioritized what could be digitized. First on the list, old photos. 1,600 photos to be exact. Working in the field provided some valuable and some non-traditional opportunities for the students. They would actually deal with real materials and the migration from print, photo, and audio cassette based uh, archive to a digital archive. Students also had to commit to live the life of the temple during their four weeks at the center. This meant getting up at 5 a.m. and meditating for 40 minutes before beginning their archival work. The idea was to take the mindfulness from the meditation into their work as librarians and archivists. There's this saying in Zen Buddhism of, of use both hands, right? Which means to do one thing at a time. And they've reflected how that influences the way they look at their work, at cataloging, at arranging, um, at acting with some intention. When students enroll in a master's in, in library and information science, um, they might think that they're going to go then work for a library, like um, at the University of Washington's libraries, for example. And that's great. But what they can also do with their degree is start their own library. And I think that's what we've started to do here at the, at the San Francisco Zen Center, is show students that um, this archives project is a, is a need within this not-for-profit, and there's a way in which they can bring their skills to bear uh, and help that community.